Get ready for a heartwarming adventure like no other, as I join forces with some amazing animal heroes. I helped rescue a baby elephant, a heartwarming story of compassion and survival introduction. Rescuing a baby elephant is a profound, life-changing experience one that intertwines feelings of compassion, awe, and responsibility. Elephants are among the most intelligent and emotionally complex creatures on Earth, and when a baby elephant is in distress, it requires immediate care, attention, and a delicate touch. This story chronicles my incredible experience in helping to rescue a baby elephant, a journey that taught me about the power of kindness, the importance of conservation, and the deep bond that can form between humans and wildlife. The call for help, it all began on a warm afternoon while I was volunteering at a wildlife sanctuary in Southern Africa. The sanctuary was dedicated to the protection and rehabilitation of endangered species including elephants. I had been there for several weeks, assisting with various tasks such as monitoring animal behavior, cleaning enclosures, and educating visitors about wildlife conservation. Little did I know that my next task would involve one of the most emotional and unforgettable experiences of my life. The call came from a nearby village. A baby elephant had been found wandering alone, separated from its herd. The villagers suspected that the calf's mother had either been poached or had died of natural causes, leaving the baby stranded and vulnerable. Without the protection of its herd, the calf was at serious risk of predation and dehydration, and it needed immediate rescue. When we received the call, the sanctuary staff quickly mobilized a team of experts and volunteers, myself included. We gathered rescue equipment blankets, ropes, first aid supplies, and water and set off in a jeep toward the location where the baby elephant had been spotted the first encounter. Arriving at the village, we were greeted by concerned locals who led us to a small clearing near the edge of the forest. There, standing in the shade of a tree, was the baby elephant. It was a heartbreaking sight. The calf was visibly distressed, its small frame trembling with fear and exhaustion. It's dark, Wide eyes seemed to be searching for its mother, and it let out a soft, high-pitched trumpet, a plaintive cry that echoed through the air. The calf was no more than a few months old, with wrinkled gray skin and oversized ears that it flapped anxiously. It had not yet developed the thick, tough hide of an adult elephant, and its legs were still wobbly from the strain of walking long distances alone. The sanctuary's elephant expert estimated that the calf had been without its mother for several days and was dangerously dehydrated. Our first task was to gain the calf's trust and provide it with water and shade. We approached cautiously, not wanting to startle it. Elephants are known for their strong memories and deep emotional connections, and a baby separated from its mother can be particularly vulnerable and fearful. I could see the apprehension in the calf's body it shuffled backwards slightly, I as warily. One of the sanctuary staff, who had years of experience working with elephants, crouched down and began speaking softly to the cat. She extended her hand slowly, offering reassurance. After several minutes of patient coaxing, the cat took a few tentative steps toward us. The tension in the air began to ease as the baby elephant realized we were there to help the rescue effort. Once we had gained the calf's trust, we quickly went to work providing it with the carrot so desperately needed. We had brought large containers of water with us, and using a soft cloth, we gently wiped the elephant's mouth and tusk area, giving it small sips of water at first. The calf was weak, and it took some time before it began to drink more freely. Next, we needed to transport the baby elephant to the sanctuary, where it could receive proper medical attention and be rehabilitated. This required careful planning and execution. The calf was too small to walk the long distance back to the sanctuary on its own, so we decided to load it into the back of our jeep. Using blankets and ropes, we gently lifted the calf onto a makeshift stretcher and carried it to the vehicle. The calf let out a few soft grunts of protest, but overall, it remained calm a testament to the bond we had begun to form with it. The drive back to the sanctuary was tense, although we had stabilized the calf, we knew that its condition
condition was still fragile. Dehydration and stress had taken their toll, and there was always the possibility of unforeseen complications. I sat in the back of the jeep next to the calf, keeping a close eye on it and ensuring it remained as comfortable as possible. Its small trunk occasionally reached out to touch my hand, a gentle gesture that seemed to signal trust the road to recovery. Once we arrived at the sanctuary, the real work of rehabilitation began. The sanctuary's veterinarians performed a thorough examination of the baby elephant, checking for signs of malnutrition, dehydration, and any injuries it may have sustained during its time alone. Fortunately, aside from being weak and dehydrated, the calf had no major injuries. The next few days were critical. The calf was placed in a secure enclosure with soft bedding and constant access to water and food. We fitted a special formula designed for urban elephants, which provided the necessary nutrients for its growth and recovery. The sanctuary staff took turns caring for the calf around the clock, ensuring that it received the attention and comfort it needed. During this time, I had the privilege of being one of the primary caregivers. Each day, I would spend hours with the calf, feeding it, monitoring its progress, and offering gentle companionship. Elephants are highly social animals, and in the absence of its herd, the calf needed to form bonds with its human caretakers. One of the most touching moments came a few days after the rescue. The calf, now more alert and energetic, began to play with a small rubber ball that we had placed in its enclosure. It would kick the ball with its trunk and then chase after it, much like a playful puppy. Watching this moment of joy was incredibly rewarding. It was a sign that the calf was beginning to recover not just physically, but emotionally as well, a new beginning. As the weeks passed, the baby elephant continued to grow stronger. It developed a close bond with the sanctuary staff and even began interacting with other orphaned elephants that had been rescued in similar circumstances. The sanctuary's goal was to eventually reintegrate the calf into a herd of rescued elephants, providing it with the social structure and support it needed to thrive in the wild once more. For me, the experience of helping to rescue and care for a baby elephant was life-changing. It deepened my understanding of the importance of wildlife conservation and the need to protect these majestic animals from the threats they face whether from poaching, habitat destruction, or human wildlife conflict. Elephants are not just another species, they are sentient beings with complex emotions and deep familial bonds, and they deserve our respect and protection. Conclusion Rescuing a baby elephant is an experience that stays with you forever. It's a reminder of the fragility of life and the incredible resilience of nature. The bond formed between humans and animals in such situations is a testament to the power of compassion and care. While the baby elephant's journey to full recovery will take time, I am confident that it will one day roam free in the wild, surrounded by its herd. Thanks to the dedicated efforts of the sanctuary and the kindness of those who stepped in to help, it's been a heartwarming day with these adorable baby elephants. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.